welcome to day four of learning about farms. I have a new animal for you today. I'm wondering if you can guess. It's white, it's fuzzy, and it says, ah, 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 ah. Can you guess what animal that is? I'll tell you, I brought one. You ready? It's a lamb, sheep actually. But this is my friend, little Lammy. Say hi, little Lammy. Hello. <laughs> Do you wanna learn about more about sheep? Okay, little Lammy's gonna sit down next to me while we talk about sheep. I brought some pictures of a sheep. Did you know a daddy sheep has a special name. This is a picture of a daddy sheep. See how he has horns? The daddies are the only ones that have horns. His And his name is a ram. A daddy sheep is called a ram. Now I have another picture of a mommy sheep. I like this picture because it's super cute, look. That's a mommy and her baby, and it's like they're giving little hugs. A mommy sheep, sheep has a special name too. Her name is called a U. It's just like the letter U, but it's spelled E-W-E -E instead. So a daddy sheep is called a ram. A mommy sheep is called a U. And what do you think a baby sheep is called? If you said lamb, you're right. Baby sheep are called lambs. Now, if you get a whole group of sheep together, then that is called a flock. So a lot of sheep all together is called a flock of sheep. Now, remember how cows had jobs to do, a job. The cow's job on the farm was to give milk to the farmer, right? Sheep have a job too. Their job is to give wool to the farmer. So all of this fuzzy stuff grows and then when it gets pretty big, the farmer shaves it off. It's called shearing. Can you say shearing? The farmer shears the wool off and it doesn't hurt. It's just like having a haircut. And then they, they sell it to people who make the wool into sweaters and hats and blankets and things like that. So that's the sheep's job. Now, I heard a funny story when I was learning about sheep. There was a sheep, even though, remember I told you it doesn't hurt to have the wool shaved off, but there was a sheep and his name was Shrek. And he was scared to get his wool shaved off so he went and hid in a cave for six years, all by himself. No one knew he was there. And when somebody found him, it's pretty silly what he looked like because here's one interesting thing about, about sheep. Their wool never stops growing. So if the farmers don't shave them, they just get more and more and more wool. Just like your hair will just keep growing if you never get it cut. Guess what that sheep looked like after six years? Can you imagine? I got a picture. Look at that guy. Isn't he silly? I don't even know how he could walk like that. That is crazy. They had enough wool off of him to make so many blankets since he skipped all those haircuts. Isn't that silly? So that was Shrek the sheep. Now, generally speaking, sheep like to, to wander around the farm. They like to eat the grass and do whatever they want. But once in a while, the farmer needs to bring them back to the pen. Maybe so that they can eat or so that he can, he can do the shearing of them. And he has a helper. Can you guess who the helper is? The helper is called a sheepdog. And sheepdogs come in lots of different kinds um, of dogs. I brought a picture of that too. The sheepdog's job is to tell the sheep to go back to the pen. So the sheepdog runs all over and barks at the sheep 
to push them back into the pen. The sheepdog has another job too. If any wolves or any scary animals come by, the sheep jo sheepdog's job is to protect the sheep. So he will actually fight the wolf or whoever's there to keep all the sheep safe. He has a really important job, doesn't he? Well, just like always, I have a story for you. I hope you like it. Here it goes. Sneaky Sheep by Chris Monroe. Rocky and Blossom lived in a meadow on the mountain. They lived with 147 other sheep and a sheep dog named Murphy. Murphy watched over the sheep. He made sure they all stayed in the meadow. But Bro Blossom and Rocky did not want to stay in the meadow. Why do we have to stay in the meadow? I want to explore. Up above them, high on the mountainside, was another meadow. The grass looked plush and green. You could see there was probably a lot of clover. So the author made us a map. Look, way down here, Rocky and Blossom. This is the low meadow. This is the river. This is the hills. This is the forest. This is the mountain. This is the snowy peak. And this is the high meadow. So Rocky and Blossom are way down here. And they want to get way up there. Rocky and Blossom constantly asked Murphy if they could go up the high mountain to the high meadow. That meadow up there sure looks sweet. Can we go up there, Murphy? Can we? All the sheep need to stay in this meadow, especially you two. I wonder if they're going to listen to him. Murphy would shake his head. Murphy knew a few things about Rocky and Blossom. They had been known to make some bad decisions over the years. Do you want to see their bad decisions? They would dive off a high cliff. Get on a rocket and light it into space. Skateboarding without helmets. Riding wild horses. Running with bulls. Floating with balloons. Playing card games with dogs. Getting a suntan on railroad tracks. That's not too bright. Playing with fire. Oh no, and running with scissors. Boy, they didn't make good decisions sometimes, did they? Murphy also knew that there were dangers on the mountain. It wasn't a good place for two sheep by themselves. Here's the dangers. Rocky cliffs, avalanches, raging waters, waterfalls, <gasps> knitters. Whoa, she said. Tourists, dark woods, poison ivy, worst of all, the wolf. But Rocky and Blossom could not stop thinking about the other meadow. We could just sneak off when Murphy's not looking. Let's do it! So they waited and watched. One day when Murphy went to get a drink of water from the stream, zoom! Off they went. They're making good choices or not so good choices. They're not so good choices. They ran and ran. Let's follow them. Look at them run. Let's hide behind that rock, said
said Blossom. <gasps> but Murphy was behind the block with the rock. Look at their faces. Look at his face. Uh oh, you're in trouble. You need to stay in the meadow, said Murphy. They don't look very happy about that. Rocky and Blossom still couldn't stop thinking about the high meadow. Murphy doesn't want us to have fun. He's mean. Is that true? Do people give you rules because they're mean? I don't think so. I think, remember, moms and dads and teachers give us rules to keep you safe and, and help you learn. Those sheep aren't thinking very well. They aren't thinking very clearly. And they're angry. They began to sneak away every single day. They were incredibly sneaky. But Murphy was incredibly good at finding them. Do you see where they're hiding? That was actually a good hiding spot. One morning, Murphy had to help a lamb get his foot out of a gopher hole. Blossom and Rocky made their getaway again. They ran as fast as they could again. This time, we'll hide in the forest. Good idea, he'll never find us there. The forest was dark and overgrown. The two sneaky sheep ran for a long time. After a while, they stopped by a huge pine tree. I bet we're almost there. Let's rest a while. Sounds good to me. They walked around its large trunk and ran into the wolf. Hello. Rocky and Blossom were extremely startled, to say the least. Rocky and Blossom backed away slowly. Well, uh, uh, we were just heading back down to the meadow, so don't let us disturb you. Yes, the meadow. Gotta get back on time, so see you later. And they t turned quickly to run. But the wolf was behind them. <gasps> Don't hurry off. You just got here. The sheep ran and realized they were on the edge of a steep cliff. <gasps> oh no, what will they do? They were in big trouble again. Well, it turns out old Murphy may have been right after all. It certainly seems that way, Rocky. The wolf took a step toward them. They had nowhere to run. Got any ideas? We could try flying again. Suddenly, Murphy came out from out of nowhere and knocked the wolf down the craggy embankment. Run! He barked. And Rocky and Blossom did just that. They ran and ran as fast as they could back to their meadow. Murphy followed closely behind. The wolf was gone. He's gone. Once again, Murphy told them, and you need to stay in the meadow. And that is what they did. For a while. That meadow sure looks nice up there. The end. I hope you liked that book. I thought it was pretty fun. Um, instead of having a finger play or a song for you today, I have a little sorting activity on my very fancy board. I had to get creative because I didn't have anything at home. Um, so what sound
thistle or S make? S, right? Do you remember what sound the letter H makes? <sighs> Guess what? When you put the letter S and the letter H next to each other, they make the shh sound. The shh sound starts sheep. S H together says sheep. Did you know that? Now there's another thing. If you put a C and an H next to each other, do you know what sound that makes? It says ch 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 ch. Kind of like a choo choo or like a chick. So if you put S and H right next to each other, it says shh. If you put C and H next to each other, it says ch, ch. So I have some pictures of things. Some of them start with shh, like sheep. Some of them start with ch, ch, like chick. I'm going to hold them up and read them, and you are going to tell me whether it says shh, like sheep or ch, like chick. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. The first one is a ship. Let's see, does ship say sh or ch, ch? Ship. Ship. I think that ship says sh, like sheep. S H. So we are going to put this right here underneath there. So you did a good job on that one. I have another one for you. Are you ready? It's one of my favorite things. Chocolate. I love chocolate. Do you love chocolate? Does chocolate say sh like sheep or like choo choo or chick. Chocolate, chocolate. What do you think? If you said C -H, ch, ch ch like chick, you were right. Good job. Okay, here's the next one. It's also one of my favorites. I must be hungry because I keep picking food. It's a shake. I love milkshakes. My family always gets milkshakes and I'm taping this on a Friday, so we'll probably have milkshakes tonight from Chick-fil-A. Do you like milkshakes from Chick-fil-A? All right, sh shake. Does that say sh like sheep or ch, ch like chick? Shake. Shake says sh like sheep. Good job. Here's the next one. Do you know what this one is? Church. 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 What do you think that one does? Sh like sheep or ch, ch Like chick. Church. I think it says ch like chick. Okay, we only have two more. Are you ready? This one is a, whoops, shell, a shell, Sh shell, shell like sheep or shell like chick. What do you think? Shell, shell and sheep both start with SH. Good job. Last one, here we go. Also one of my favorite things, cheese. Ch cheese. So does that say sh like sheep or ch like chick? Cheese. Cheese. Chick. Cheese. Sheep. I think it goes with chick. Cheese starts 
starts with CH2. You guys did a good job on that. I'm proud of you. Okay, so now that we're done with our sorting of sh and ch, we need to get to our art project. So far, we have a barn, a cow, and a pig in the mud. Guess what we're gonna add this time? That's right, a sheep. Sheep are pretty easy to draw, but you have to start with a head. I noticed that. So what I did was I drew a U shape. Remember what's a mom sheep called? A U. I drew a U shape for her head. And then I gave her a mouth and eyes and ears. And then on the top, I put some fuzzy wool. And after that, I made kind of an oval bubbly wool. And then four legs. And I used a gray crayon to color in her her um, face and her legs. So you can make your sheep any color you like or any shape you like, cause it's your art. That's just how I made mine. So I am going to cut this little guy out. Let's see, and we'll tape him on there. So what was your favorite part about the sneaky sheep book? I liked it when the sheepdog chased the wolves away. Wasn't that awesome? That was a good part. That part made me happy. And then I think that they started to make better decisions after that, at least for a little while. Huh. Okay, so there's my sheep all cut out. I'm going to glue him on here glue. I'm kind of running out of room, but that's okay. I'm going to put my sheep in between my cow and my pig. Just like that. So your job is to draw your sheep however you want it and add it to your mural. Have fun with that.